to go even deeper to transition into the Nickelodeon stuff, look at these child stars that we all look at and we're like, wow, Orlando Brown is crazy. Amanda Bynes, oh, oh my gosh, look what the fame did. Was it the fame or was With it the, the molestation? Was it yeah. the sexual abuse? Yeah, bro. Was it putting a <laughs> yeah, kid on right. camera for 13 hours to 16 hours a day on production sites. Like these are children. Imagine yeah. our children, six, That's 12, nuts, 13, 14 years old. You're on these sets. These are sets where grown adults are at all day long. I, I put, honestly, I put that on the parents though, bro. If, oh, if, absolutely. You're, gonna, if you're not gonna be by your kid in that type of world, you're a fucking idiot. Well, I don't I even remember, think it's me... not that they weren't by them. It's oh, they, they you'll do to... anything for money. I'll... Most people will do anything for a dollar. I'll, I'll tell you this. I remember because I, I was a child actor. I was in Pepsi commercial, uh, JC. Were Penny. you really? Yeah, damn. Super Lotto. I was oh in with Sham. Damn, so, damn, Daddy. That's not a flex. Damn, that's not a flex. Daddy. You earned it. Daddy. You earned it, Daddy. No Diddy. No Diddy. So check no this out. So, yeah. so no when diddy. I was, I went. I was gonna go on um, audition. My manager booked it. My agent booked it. I was kind of a shoe in. They wanted in me so it was uh, i don't know if you guys remember what size, what size shoe were you wearing back then nine like and a half same, always, all day you're wearing all day same shoe size you're wearing now so <laughs> so um you guys remember the uh, lyle and eric menendez the menendez brothers yeah they were like mm -hmm. molested by their dad and then they killed them mm -hmm. yeah so i was essentially gonna be in this hbo special i was gonna be in it and mm -hmm. my dad knew about the trial he goes you're not doing that shit you're not gonna be in that movie so he prevented me from going being young, I'm thinking, I'm like, why? Oh, this is bad, Dad. Why are you not doing this? But he was getting my back. Yeah. Because what what scene would I have been in? Thinking yeah. I'm acting. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. What kind of programming would I have been indoctrinated with? You would have had to go through the motions. You don't, yes. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know what you don't know. know. But as a kid, you, you aspire to be the people that are doing the things that you want to do. You're like, oh, they're so cool. They're on TV. They get the limelight. They get so much attention. You don't know what's happening behind the scenes. Even today. There are probably kid shows where things are happening that we're not aware of. We'll hear about it another 5, 10, 15 years. That's happening today, right now, behind the scenes, because YouTube's coming up. Um, uh, the subscription channels are coming up. Disney's popping up. And we don't know what's happening behind the scenes to make this uh, to make this grow. Yeah. yeah. Go, it, go ahead. It's, it, like, like we said, you know, it, it, there's a whole can of worms that you've, that's just been opened up over this past two weeks with, with all of this. Um, the transition i mean you can see once again it was right in front of our eyes go to that 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 clip of diddy on the nickelodeon show <laughs> yeah. check this out what would p diddy do oh uh, what would p diddy do no i don't know hey let's ask him oh okay what do you think the p stands for p diddy what's up we can't wake up shane you try symbols yep <laughs> What about sour milk? Didn't work. Tell you what. Take this toy helicopter. Put it down his pants. All right, we'll do it. We'll do it. Bro. Like, what? I just started cool. I, I would know. never <laughs> tell any child but, but to no, put anything keep, keep down somebody's it's, pants. It's keep, gonna playing. Show, yeah, keep, keep playing. Keep playing. Keep playing. Is more? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll do it. Come on, baby. Yeah. Uh, bro, the kid just uh, to another kid. Didn't work. He's still asleep. Was he, gonna say that? Was he drinking Adrenochrome? Try this. <laughs> Let me get my remote. Yeah. He popped the Molly in the it sounds like the Meek Mill audio, bro. Oh. <laughs> so th this was played for us kids. This this is what we grew up on. This These are the types of shows that we grew up on. And, and transitioning into, I think, transitioning into the whole Nickelodeon stuff. And not even Nickelodeon. It's just quite on the set. Nickelodeon is the scapegoat right now. But it's across Nickelodeon, the Disney Channel as well, too. There's child stars from the Disney Channel that that are screwed up just as bad. And it even goes beyond that. It goes from the times when the Corey, the Corey, the two Corys were, you know, stars. Yeah. Corey Feldman and what was the other Corey? Corey Haim. Corey Haim. Goonies. Yeah. Goonies. Corey Feldman. Yeah. He's, that poor soul. Once again, it goes back to what Phil is he was alive? saying. Corey Feldman is Corey Haim. Corey and not, not suicide, not, right? Yeah. Suicide. Uh, you mean he unalived himself? Unalived himself. Yeah. Yep. But going back to what Phil said, 
these kids are they had to create child labor laws specifically for the Hollywood industry because they're sitting on set, they're getting schooled there, every, their lives are on set now. And that and your boy and your boy Dan Schneider is is sniffing on him. And your boy Dan Schneider sniffing on him. Very He's sniffing so. on him. I mean, but if you look at the He's history, groping on him. The history of Nickelodeon, how it started, it was supposed to be a program to help develop the cognitive function of kids. It was a network. There was no commercials in in the seventies. Well, in the oh, 80s. they developed the cognitive function of by the kids, 2000s, but in the they, wrong with with the wrong right in the wrong direction. Absolutely, but they had adults that ran the scripts. But it wasn't until you had Teen Nick. Right, you had uh, Nick Toons, mm -hmm. and you had all these characters, Dora the Explorer, you had uh, Blue's Clues, you had Degrassi in the 2000s mm -hmm. that Nickelodeon yep. owned. Oh, Drake was, he, he came up on Nickelodeon, right? Yeah. Nickelodeon. No, uh, now it makes sense. Look at this what, stuff, bro. Are, are Ariana Grande, play that clip with Ariana Grande in the potato and the water. This was all happening, we had no clue. Well, cause remember, kids don't this, sexualize man. things. Look at this. Not possible. Oh, what do you think Dan Schneider was doing when this was happening on the set? Oh, he was salvating. How many That's, parents are aware wow. that this is happening or that this has happened? It, how many of you have watched even the documentary about this? What does Nickelodeon mean, the translation you were saying? In Latin. Like... In Latin, the Nickelodeon comes from the term, I hate God or I dislike God, if you break it down in Latin terms. But how they first created it was, Nickelodeon derived from the fact that have you, when you have dollar movie theaters, it came from the nickel movie theater. So Nickelodeon. And then now it's transversed into something deeper, which that's what they do when it comes to words. They find people that know how to put these uh, chemicals of words together that mean something that we wouldn't understand unless we did the work well, to go find people, it. People forget that English language is the, one of the newest languages, right? And it's sure. also one of the, they call it one of the dumbest languages, right? Nice. Because we... We say things that are super low frequency. I mean, how many people were, oh, I, I love Nickelodeon. So they're, you're quite literally no. saying, I don't care about God every time you said, I love Nickelodeon. Well, they're spells. Right? I That's love not caring spelling. about God. I like, never I never watch Nickelodeon, uh, praise praise God. Um, but you didn't watch Ren and Stimpy? <laughs> <laughs> I had a problem with that. He's all, he's all, Thank God I didn't do that. Yeah. You didn't watch Ren and Stimpy? Yeah, hey dude. Doug? You didn't watch hey dude. No, no. Doug? I don't even know what that is. Doug. Degrassi. I like Doug. No, Degrassi. no, absolutely rock, not. Rock, rock well, with you, Modern Life. Rock nope. with Modern Life. No, nope. yeah. you guys, nope. you guys saw. I mean, uh, for those that did yeah, I watch, did watch the, Rugrats. Yeah, Rugrats Guilty. was Nickelodeon. Damn. Uh, Guilty. You watched the two women writers that were, you know, the first ones with Dan Schneider, and day one, our, our first couple weeks with them, he, he would say things like, "Are, are the ladies in the room?" Right. And it's implying are the ladies in the room because you're probably going to say some shit that's fucked up. So when you see this and this is such a at a mass scale, you're able It's the same thing as Diddy. Like you're able to shut these people up, send them with lawsuits, make sure that they never work in the industry again. So, yeah. Well, and you these people remember some people have dreamed and worked their whole that's life right, yeah. to get to this point to work on a network like this. Yeah. And so you self preservation right they're they're trying to preserve what they've worked for and so maybe that also stopped people from coming forward because they are also indoctrinated that if they do this they're going to risk their whole career and a lot of people did risk their whole career right because i think one of the ladies actually filed a lawsuit against him and i'm pretty sure nothing really happened to her at all well let's look at the etymology of hollywood Hollywood comes back from the hollow tree. Hollow tree comes back from, in a book, it talks about how witches have their wand, the hollow Still. tree. They, they use the hollow tree as the wand to cast spells. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's why you have Halloween. And they, they've been programming us since the beginning. And Hollywood is the forefront of using etymologies, engraving it into the minds of people and words and symbols and signs that we don't even know what's happening. We just see the aftermath. Well, back to what you said, Garrett, where you said, you know, the people, these kids and, and actors and celebrities and and music artists, right? They're they 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 want to 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 achieve their dreams so mm -hmm. bad, yeah, that they're willing to sacrifice everything, everything, including their soul. And what's 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 crazy, and it's not crazy. What's what's beautiful is that biblically, right? The Bible mm -hmm. tells us about these type of situations in encountering these situations before we ever actually encounter this type of situation, mm -hmm. Matthew 16, 26, what does it say? What good 
will it be for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit their soul? Mm -hmm. right. You see what I'm saying? So if, if, if you have to go through and endure you know, getting your cheeks clapped by a puff daddy just to become a famous rapper. Take that, take that, take that. Mm. Mm. That's probably what he was saying when he was smacking those cheeks, right? Then, then at that point, you're giving up your soul. Yeah. You're giving up your soul. I have this belief, and well, it's you not could either resonate with it or not, but this belief that I have is that your soul, when you do sell your soul, there's a contractual agreement for your soul, and somebody owns it, just like you see with Tupac, how they do the holographic shows now. They're still selling his soul selling the rights to this person. So when you sell your soul, I believe, because energy is neither created nor destroyed, your soul is an energetic force that transfers into whatever your next lifetime is, and you are still bound by that contract that you signed many lifetimes ago. Well, I just, I just thought of this, though. Well, we need to give him a oof before I Hold talk, on. though, bro. That was, oof. I'm not talking about Give the man the respect. That was a good, bro, that was a... But that was I was, was going to say, you know, Jesus died Yeshua. to save Yeshua. our Yeshua died to save our soul so technically do we even have our soul to be able to sign it off because it's really not ours our parents signed it off but that's why they call it pay our rents it's the pair that rents because when you Ooh, when hold you, on <laughs> Ooh. You, go ahead what? go ahead king go ahead <laughs> Phil. nah that was fine go ahead, go ahead <laughs> Phil. So what, could go you, ahead, could you imagine Phil. what my what happened to my life just living with phil for like eight months you i mean this is what me and phil would talk like this until midnight every single night so i go read, off. i have a book called word magic and i started reading about these they call them the dark magicians that create words that we don't know about and i read the word about birth and I don't want to get too deep into it, but too birth deep. and birth, they're spelt the same, but they're phonetically different. Birth, B-I-R-T-H and B-E-R-T-H, they both have to do with mm. a ship docking. And it has to do with us being birthed as human beings. So when a woman gives birth to a child, it goes through the birth canal as the ship goes through a canal. And when the baby comes out, it sees the doctor. And what does the ship do when it comes into the, the, the dock? It, it touches the dock. And then tor, right? And T O R means something, somebody that does something for an exchange of currency. But tor also means at the bottom of the ship when you're touring the ship. So when the goods, the packages, the people, or the baby comes out, it's given to the parents, right? The pair that rents you. And then when you sign the contract over, because you now give it back to the government and they legally own your vessel, right? That it's a package that they own. And then they wait till you're 18 to then you go work for a corporation and then you give your body back to the system. <laughs> Hold on. Ooh. So uh, apparently, so now, right? These these children, these children stars gone crazy or gone bad don't seem so crazy, right? Aaron Carter, Britney Spears, Corey Feldman, Macaulay Culkin, Justin Bieber, Orlando Brown. The list goes on and on and on. Mm, they yeah. don't seem so crazy now. No. But what? Why? Why did it take us decades, right, to really start? digging just a little bit like you said it's the tip of the iceberg right we're, now we're the still access not even to there. information remember like the internet right. really just took off over the last 10 to 15 years so i mean we had the internet in the early 2000s but it was still so new people it wasn't it, used like it, it wasn't, wasn't used. used the way it's used today it's 100%. like that's also why sales is different right like the old way of selling does yeah, not work, work because you can't pressure people high pressure tactics no more because people can just go google and see if what mm -hmm. you're saying is true or not mm -hmm, yeah. so it's it's not that people didn't know it's that people weren't receiving information at such a high level that we are now so you are and and let's also be reminded 2001 i mean when we went to war that's really all we focused on for the next like 10 15 years was war right so what are you going to think about? Are you going to think about the child star who people are probably envious of, right? People were probably envious of Britney Spears, Aaron Carter, Drake and Josh Bell, like all these people. So when they hear it, they're like, oh, look at another child star. They just got spoiled. They were probably doing right, drugs right. and, you know, they, they threw it all away when really it's like, well, why were they doing drugs? Right. Why were they feeling the need to go to, to all these parts? They don't look friends? at the root cause. Correct. Do you think right? the parents know and they just look at the paychecks and say, well, I mean. Well, what's that kid? Ryan, the, the big, the big multimillionaire kid. Oh, the YouTuber? Ryan nope. something. Garcia? No. Oh, the no. YouTuber. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Kid. Ryan's toy review. Ryan's toy review. Right. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine being that age and just like your whole life is consumed? You are your parents' income. Yeah. That's you are that's your parents. Your kid yeah. pays the mortgage. So what do you what are those parents doing? Those parents, hey, we're paying the bills. We have the house we always wanted. You're not 
even living a real life though, because I, I I watched just a little bit of of that whole Ryan's toy mm -hmm. review, and and now you got the parents. They're part of the play. Right. That's what it is. It's just a big Correct. old play. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's it, like you're, at that point, you're not even a real person. You're just yep. an you you're a full time actor. Well, yeah. and to go back into the importance of the people that tell you, well, we came to your page to listen about business. It's like, well, number one. Uh, for those that don't know, for the viewers, you guys can always DM Carlos. He has an amazing team here that will get you guys signed up for a business boot camp at any point in time. Or a business consulting call. No or charge. consulting. Um, no but charge. if we continue down the same road, we get the same result. Right. And so if we don't talk about these things, if we don't bring light to the situation, if we don't find solutions to the issues and the problems at hand, whether that be creating new networks, whether that be creating platforms for people to speak truth and light and harmony and love, um, then we are quite literally just going to keep repeating the same cycles.